in January 1949, a B-36B established a bomb lift record by carrying a pair of dummy 43,000-pound bombs from what is now Edwards Air Force Base and was then called Muroc Air Force Base. These bombs were almost 27 feet long and four and a half feet in diameter and had to be released in a specific sequence. The forward bomb was dropped first as the sudden release of weight jolted the nose upward. If the rear bomb had been released first, the resulting nose down moment might have been too severe for the crew to recover. In March 1949, a B-36B from the 7th Bomb Wing established a distance record of 9,600 miles flown in 43 hours, 37 minutes, with enough fuel remaining for two more hours of flying, proving the B-36 could remain aloft for almost two days totally self-sufficient. Leaving Carswell on March 10th at 12.20 p.m., the bomber flew north to Minneapolis, west to Great Falls, and then to Key West, where it flew over President Truman at his vacation home. Leaving Florida, it dropped 10,000 pounds of bombs into the Gulf of Mexico. It then turned northwestward and flew over Fort Worth and Denver, back to Great Falls, and then to Spokane before changing course again for Fort Worth. The airplane was ordered to land after two engines failed and because severe weather was approaching the airfield. A 10,000-mile mission was undoubtedly possible under ideal conditions. Thank <laughs> you.